This is the Paul Spooner podcast where I argue with myself. Let's go. That's bad. Hey there, folks. It's the Paul Spooner podcast. Yep, it is. From the car. Mm-hmm. That's right. I'm driving right now back from work in Nagoya, Japan. Yep, pretty pleased about being in Nagoya, apparently. So this is the first episode that I had recorded back when I was on deployment. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what what I was doing over there. I mean, I know, like, technically what I was doing, but I'm not sure why I ended up there. At the time, it seemed like a really cool opportunity. But then afterward, everyone treated it as if I was a leper or, like, had been exiled or something for bad behavior. Maybe I was. Maybe I was so clueless that I didn't even know what was happening. But, uh... I'd come home from work and like there was no one to talk to at the office because it was literally an ISO box connected to another ISO box. And there was one Japanese guy there occasionally, but he wouldn't talk much. So uh, I'd come home from work and then just like talk to my wife or at my wife, my kids. And uh, she told me, look, you should do a podcast. You got to start talking, but not at me. And so I did. And so this is my first episode. I'm going to go through all these episodes and... Uh, Talk to myself, talk to my, my old self, and see if there's an interesting conversation to be had there. There's a truck merging in front of me. You know, the trucks here are very interesting. Are they? Okay, so in Japan, trucks are cute. Isn't everything in Japan, though? And by cute, I mean small and round. The cars are smaller, generally, than American cars. Yep, everything's smaller in Japan. It's like Texas, only upside down. And I think probably this has to do with the fact that Japanese people carry far less cargo with them. They don't need a huge duffel bag full of spare shoes. <laughs> What's with the example that's like... They are generally a more austere, more ascetic society than the American one, which has us carting around all kinds of, I don't know what people cart around, spare burgers or something. It's spares. It's always spares of things, huh? Spare tires. You could have gone with that one. Foreshadow the obesity thing. Anyway, the Japanese people tend to have less stuff, and so their cars are smaller. They're also generally smaller people, so that helps. And they're not incredibly obese, because that is not okay in Japanese culture. It is not alright to be incredibly obese. At least I haven't seen a great number of obese people around here. Maybe there are, and they just don't hang out on the streets. They're all otaku. They're in their rooms and stuff. So the trucks are cute. Of course, they have to be tall enough to seat a person and have an engine. So they have to have a certain amount of height. But then their length is pretty short and their breadth is also pretty narrow. Yep, those are all the dimensions. Good job, me. So if you look at the cab, the cab will be about as high as the bed is long. And it has a very pleasing proportions and produces this very cute truck look. It's a pickup truck kind of style. I'm, I'm sitting behind one right now in traffic. Yep, I'll put up a picture. And I can see that this one is an extended cab pickup truck, by which I mean it can barely hold four Japanese people and probably not even one gargantuan obese American. <laughs> That's kind of... I'm kind of fixated on people being fat in the United States, I guess. To be fair, we saw exactly zero overweight people in Japan, so there is a difference. So yeah, very cute trucks. I have been Paul Spooner. This is the Paul Spooner Podcast, and allow me to play you out. That was actually pretty good. If only I'd recorded more of those. I recorded all the music 
at the beginning and the ends in the car, I believe. And I think I did it all in one take. I combined a much longer. I did like maybe 10 minutes of recording of singing and stuff and then edited it all on top of each other. It kind of lined stuff up so that it sounded good and threw away maybe half of it. But I didn't do a whole lot of editing other than that. I didn't try to redo it if I didn't have the material. I just worked with what I had. And you'll hear these musical endings repeat occasionally. I think I did four or five intros and outros. So that ended up not being so much argument as just commentary, I suppose. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>